Hello and welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today's poem is by a man named Joshua Allen Sturgill. Now, if you have ever been to a Cersei conference, or at least one in the last 10 years or so, then you probably would recognize that name, but you might not recognize it for the reason that you might think. He wasn't a speaker, or he's, he's never spoken or anything like that, although he would be a good speaker. He actually is um, a salesman, or not well, a purveyor of great books, um, with Eighth Day Books, one of the best bookstores in the world. He comes each and every year and sets up a display and sells books and hangs out with us. And he has a new collection of poetry out called As Far As I Can Tell. It's out now from Darkly Bright Press. And I wanted to share a poem in here that I, that I quite enjoyed. It's called As Though a Seed, and it goes like this. As though a seed, I wake in my childhood home, and my parents are young again. Familiar toys, small bed, blue clock, a pair of elephants. Tall stove where my father cooks the weekend meals, the leaning. Single car garage by the swings as though I judge time authentically. Standing within, my child hand gripping the older hand wrapped in roads. Ohio without its single woolen cloud. My friends and our imaginations make the street a river in the sun. A planet from trees' roots. Secret worlds of alleys and stairs. As when my window, eastward facing, held a picture of the downtown day, and to that ever day I recede. Evening to afternoon, noon to morning, back in through all the layers of perfect make-believe. Branches returning, we called autumning leaves, back into bright green gems, spring against innocent skin. Then away from the sun, just for a moment, though grateful for light, book to chapter paragraph to word, back to the level ground and under, alone again with possibility, as though a seed. I love this poem for the way, obviously, that it plays with this seed imagery. You know, even very specific in terms of that seed imagery, the idea of being underground leading to possibility. Back to the level ground and under, alone again with possibility, as though a seed. I think um, he does a really nice job of layering that throughout. There's a consistency in that which makes the poem uh, very readable. It makes it easy to contemplate. That is, there's that through line, like a great melody, that uh, that is at the heart of this poem. But there is also so much to say about imagination. The the idea, the connection between imagination and memory coming together. You know, sometimes our memories are the seeds by which our imaginations work. There is no way to separate, really, the connection between imagination and, and memory. And sometimes we don't know exactly where the seed of our imagination comes from. There's an, there's an intertwining of the two. And in, even in this poem, the way the lines, the way there's enjambment of the lines, the way the lines run into each other, the way they curl around each other and, and, and uh, sort of weave together, is sort of mirrors that concept of the imagination and, and memory being woven together to create um, an artifact or, or, you know, some kind of work or, or to create meaning in something even. And one little thing that I really like formally here, a choice that he makes is, uh, he doesn't end it with a paragraph, with a period rather. There are repeated periods throughout. There are complete sentences uh, throughout this poem, the punctuation because of the enjambment and all that interweaving that I was talking about is irregular, certainly not uncommon with poetry, but in a poem that has all these periods and commas and everything, it doesn't end with a period. And I love the sort of incompleteness of that, what, what that represents. Alone again with possibility, as though a seed, is what is ostensibly the last paragraph. The last, um, it's essentially like three lines there, two and a half lines, but it doesn't end with a period. And that suggests that there is a, uh, there's a future. There is, there is something coming. This is not an end stop. It is not an ending. There is a continuation coming. I think that's just a really nice little touch there um, that you wouldn't get if you're just listening to this. Um, but uh, I do recommend picking up this book if you can, uh, getting on Amazon or something like that. And, uh, and you can take a look at that yourself, but I'm sure you can imagine it as well. One more time. Here is As Though a Seed by Joshua Allen Sturgill. 
As though a seed, I wake in my childhood home and my parents are young again. Familiar toys, small bed, blue clock, a pair of elephants. Tall stove where my father cooks the weekend meals. The leaning single car garage by the swings. As though I judge time authentically, standing within, my child hand gripping the older hand wrapped in roads. Ohio without its single woolen cloud. My friend and our imaginations make this street a river in the sun, a planet from trees' roots, secret worlds of alleys and stairs. As when my window, eastward facing, held a picture of the downtown day, and to that ever day I recede, evening to afternoon, noon to morning, back in through all the layers of perfect make believe. Branches returning, recalled autumn leaves, back into bright green gems, spring against innocent skin. Then away from the sun, just for a moment, though grateful for light, book to chapter, paragraph to word, back to the level ground and under, alone again with possibility, as though a seed. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you.